Hello, my name is Dale Ferguson. I'm an adjunct professor here at Central Penn College. I teach a sustainability course, and the most common question I get is, why a sustainability course in a leadership program? Well, when you think about it, it's a different world than when I was a young man. It's a globalized world. And you've got to think about leadership in the perspective of small groups, but also think of it in the big scale, in the macro picture. And there's no bigger mac macro picture than environmental right now. The companies that we have in the United States are usually multinational companies. And today, much of your offshore uh, purchasing or supply chain uh, it can come into scrutiny by your consumers here in the United States. So in the sustainability class, what we do is we talk about the different parts of sustainability. The fact that we're sitting in Pennsylvania, which is sitting right now, we are analogous to sitting on top of uh, Saudi Arabia in the 1950s. Uh, with all the fracked gas that we are on right now, we could take out all the 600 coal-fired power plants in the United States and run them for the next 50 years. Someday, 30 years from now, somebody will say, did you know you were sitting on top of that? Uh, so we talk to the students about that. Part of being a leader is being aware of those types of things that are going on around you. But what is also going on around you is that something is happening that your product or your services that are produced overseas or they're used overseas are thought of as being in today's digital age or, or they're seen on Instagram or thought of as being not good to the environment, you can lose customers. You can destroy your brand. So that's one of the things we also talk about in the course. Along with that, we do something called an operations research paper. Each student has to learn how to gather the data on themselves. How many showers do you take a day? How far do I drive to work? Uh, how much do I eat? Those types of things are the beginning, the assemblage of data that they, they then put into a carbon footprint calculator. Now make them use two calculators because each calculator is different. Each instrument you can use to do research can be different. And I talked to them about the calibration of those calculators. Once they have a baseline for what their carbon footprint is, they very quickly see that in the United States, we average out at about 20 metric tons carbon footprint, which is way above the rest of the world. Um, so then we talk about, in the scientific method, what are some of the things that you could do? We brainstorm to see if there's things that you could do that would affect that carbon footprint. Could you change the LED lighting? Could you go to an ultra low emissions vehicle? Some of those things cost more money, and we discuss that as well. But then the student goes through, looks at what they can legitimately do, and they sit down with the diary information. They put together an operations research paper, and then they calculate the new baseline that they could have, the new carbon footprint they could have, if they were able to, able to enable those changes. Um, so it's an interesting paper that talks about change within even their small organization, the first organization you join, your family. I really enjoyed teaching in the MPS program because personally, I can kind of uh, align with it. Uh, all of my education, 18 years of it, uh, was done while working full time. So I'm teaching to graduate students who are working a full day. Uh, they get a cup of coffee, they come here, and then they got three more hours of classes. And I have the greatest respect for anybody that can do that. The folks that are coming through this program aren't just prepared in the sense of what they're learning here on campus. They're preparing themselves for a future uh, that may have, like me, where good training and good education meet luck and opportunity and you can change your career direction and you can do something better than you had originally intended to do. Um, I think we do that well with the MPS program and I've seen a lot of great success stories.